It's India's big UNSC push as Prime Minister gets ready to host the G4 summit on the sidelines. With this, India is one step closer to the UNSC seat. But this support that has gathered for India has left China sulking. When Prime Minister Narendra Modi decided to stop over in Ireland rather than the traditional route of Frankfurt, many eyebrows raised. Why is it that a Prime Minister, the first one after Jawaharlal Nehru, would want to make a pit stop in Ireland? Well, there is a reason behind that. It's not just bilateral trade and it's not just strengthening equations. It's also trying to use the influence that Ireland wields across some of the most powerful countries in the world, especially the United States, with the objective of making a firmer, stronger push for India as a permanent place, a permanent seat in the UN Security Council. And now as Prime Minister arrives in New York, all eyes on how much support he can gather for a permanent seat at UNSC. Get the support of those 128 countries. Uh, all of us will benefit from that reform. The focus for UNGA 70 might be climate and sustainable development, but for India, the focus is very, very clear. To amplify the surround sound, the push for a permanent seat in the UN Security Council, India wants to make its case stronger and it wants more influential voices, including that of Ireland and the, and the G4 nations, to help India and to back India and to support India. But experts say it is going to be a long-drawn battle and not an easy one. India has a commitment from four of the five permanent members, not, not from China. Uh, but the question is, what do those commitments mean? How much does it matter to the other countries, the United States, France, England and, and Russia, to get India in? Beijing isn't openly supporting New Delhi's UN aspiration. In fact, the Chinese media is terming India's move for a permanent seat in an expanded UN Council with its G4 counterparts as a big mistake. Seems to be a, a hurdle for India, not just uh, you know, in, in symbolic and other functions, also when it comes to United Nations Security Council reform, which you pointed out earlier is a major focus of Prime Minister. The meeting of G4 countries in New York is being seen as an important step in the growing chorus for reforms at UNSC. But will the four countries together be able to exert more pressure at the UNGA? With Anand and Ashwarya in New York, Tanvi Shukla for Times Now.